have uh, a nice combination of, of experience. For example, we have some older players like Ruben Galando, a fifth-year senior, Earl Pettis, a transfer who uh, has Big East starting experience, uh, Jarrell Williams, who's been a four-year starter for us, Steve Weingart, who's a fifth-year senior. We have some uh, an, an elite level of talent in Eric Murray, who's a sophomore and got a year under his belt. Devin White is a very talented kid who has a year under his belt. Then we have some really good freshmen. Uh, Tyreek Duran, Sam Mills, Cole Stephan, we're highly recruited players. And Matt Lopez is a promising big guy with red shirt. So what I'm getting at is we have good players at the end of their careers, good players in the middle of their careers, good players starting their careers. So it's a really nice blend. And we're talented, so I, I think we have a chance to have a very good team. Well, first, we, we have good kids. Uh, we, we have kids like uh, Eve McCongo, who, who chose us over an Ivy League school. And this year, our recruit, Sam Mills, chose us over an Ivy League school. Steve Weingart is a spectacular student. But we have kids of all level of academic abilities. We're like the real world. We have some great students, some average students, and some kids that really got to work at it very hard. But we have good kids who do listen and try hard. We, we have a, a, a our school is founded by the Christian Brothers. Christian Brothers feel that calling in life is to, to change lives through the educational process. So we have a school that helps kids. And then I think we have the best academic council in the country. I really do. A lady named Christine Cahill, a former Philadelphia second grade school teacher. She's like our team mom. So we have the best help available. We have a, a nurturing school. And we have good kids. And it got us a perfect APR last year. How much do you think that you Oh, say that. Uh, how much do you think all the injuries and the bad luck last season contributed to maybe a rougher season? Oh, well, it, it just, we, we lost our, our sports information people do a great job, and they, they calculated that we, we lost uh, all, nearly 3,000 career points last year, which was by far the most in the country. So, you know, we, we out of 340 Division I teams, we literally had the worst luck in the country. We were number one in the country in bad luck, and that has a dramatic effect on your season. And it's not just the points per the game, but those seniors were our first recruiting class, and, and they brought about 300 games of experience. So we just replaced experienced guys with guys who had never played before. We replaced very talented guys with, with guys that, frankly, were not the same level players. Uh, we were picked fourth in the conference last year preseason and finished in 13th because we, we really only had the, the team we expected for four games last year. Number one in the country in bad luck is not a good